this video we are playing Find the Dora the Explorer characters. So there are two characters that need um, a group join and VIP so we won't be able to get those ones but you can go ahead if you would like to do so. This video will show all of the locations. I have included an order list in my video description so if you do get stuck please refer to that or please do drop me a comment I will always try and help you the best that I can. And if I can ask if you do like this video or any other from Judgment TV if you can please hit that like and subscribe button to help support my channel. So I'm quite liking the map. Um, my kids didn't really watch Dora the Explorer. I mean, it wasn't around when I was little. <laughs> so I'm not too sure how in keeping this map is with the actual TV show itself. Um, my kids only had one bedtime story of Dora the Explorer. I didn't take Spanish in school, so I'm quite happy that they were quite young and didn't see me embarrass myself trying to obviously say the words and the phrases in the book. <laughs> All I remember is Bamanos. <laughs> but it is a very nice map. Um, what's nice about this game as well um, is there's some kind of side mini games included in this. So it's not just sort of wandering around collecting everything. The majority of the characters are all out in the open. So I would say this is an accessible game for the younger players of Roblox and the ones who obviously may be the actual fans of Dora the Explorer. Even just some of these nice moving elements just bring a nice touch to games. Um, as I said, it, it's just a nice feature. Quite surprised they didn't use the pyramids um, or the buildings more than what they have done. But that's absolutely fine, it is their game to develop. One thing I will have to say about this game though is that the sprint isn't really a sprint, it's still more of a walk, but it's fine. So here is one of the side games, so it's just literally hitting the button repeatedly, which is quite easy for me on an iPad. Now there is a glitch for especially myself that I found when I was playing this game. I don't know if it's just mobile or if it could be for obviously computer users as well. But when I played a side game, I then couldn't go on and either collect keys or some of the characters. So what I had to do was leave the game and rejoin the server again. And it sort of like refresh it for me to be able to collect the characters. This is something that I hope that they can bug fix in an update because it was slightly annoying given the amount of side games that are included in this, uh, in this game as well. And we have found the key. Now I don't actually know what the gold key opens. Um, I found it as you can see relatively early on. For this pyramid you need the blue key, but you don't. There's a little secret entrance, so I could get this one without even having to bother finding the blue key. <laughs> I will show you where the blue key is. It will be marked. Um, it will be marked as an item in my order list description. But yeah, feel free to go and get that one without bothering with the key. <laughs> I did try it for the other red pyramid, but it didn't work. I did have to get the key for that one. I'm not quite sure why that one is in the higher level of difficulty.
So here we have the blue key on top of the rock by Baby Fox, so it's not too far from the lighthouse and spawn. So this is obviously the furthest edge of the map. Um, and this is literally just behind where we found the last difficult one. I'm not too sure if this game can be developed or updated with any more characters. As I said, I, I remember Dora the Explorer being pretty popular, uh, but I'm about the age where I would have watched it. Um, so, I mean, I do like the map. It has been a nice game to pass the time. Um, so if they can update it, uh, definitely I'd love to come back and do another video. Just knock that speed level up though, please. <laughs> That was in the storybook obviously Dora herself the map and the backpack and swiper but that's about as far as my Dora the Explorer character knowledge goes <laughs> This game recommendation actually came off a comment from one of my YouTube viewers. If there is any games that you want me to play and record, please do drop me a comment. Um, I will get them on the list. Can't always say how long they'll be for me to get the video up. I do have quite a long list of games to finish, um, but I will always endeavour to play it and put in a video up on my channel.
I don't know what it is with these code doors. Like, I'm used to having to go around and try and find the code, not it being plastered on the side of the building. Um, I know it's really accessible for the younger players, so okay, it fits with that, but really you could go around and hide some of those numbers quite nearby, like around the trees or something, just to, just to make it a bit harder, that's just like super easy. <laughs> it's sort of like having a crossword clue and then them sort of going like, Psst, it's this. <laughs> As I said, you can't break into that first pyramid, uh, you do need the key, I did try, but it is just on the edge of desert there. indoor of the explorer um, but I do like the attention to detail in this area again there's not much use of sort of the igloos um, or some of the kind of scenery they've put in but that's absolutely fine And in a way, I sort of almost prefer this area to sort of the, the, the forest area. I think they've done much better kind of character placement around this area. So I like the fact that you've got this one on the top um, and then you actually have to drop down, which I'll show you in a moment, I didn't spot it. You actually have to drop down and then go inside the sort of rocks to get the next one. There are also kind of veiled uh, entrances and sort of hidden characters in this area as well so I do like this area better in the kind of slightly harder challenge elements to find some of these so here is the one that you need to kind of go up and drop down And don't forget the double jump, which will help you get in there. One was a sneaky one. I was wondering why this snowman was blue. 
um, and there is the answer there is one hiding inside and that's why I'd say I prefer this area and the character kind of placement in this area you've got nice features like that and I think they've also used the landscape better like this one on top of the sort of ice art Nearly missed that one on top, that sneaky little clown. Slightly like round the back, <laughs> it's quite obvious there. But then they do have this nice bit of scripting, so for any updates, carry on with this sort of stuff, it just like elevates the game um, and the kind of sophistication, so that's really nice. And another sneaky one in the wall there, which is another nice uh, one in this area. Inside this kind of snow mountain, we have the first one inside the igloo of Cinderella. Between the sort of two snow mountains, uh, we have Camilla. So for the big red hen, um, it's not actually by spawn, the hint is really misleading. I searched around spawn, I was like, where is it? And then here we go, we have to navigate a maze. Because what is a find the game without a bloody maze? And 
I don't like mazes, I hate them. Um, so hopefully you can follow where I go quite easily. Um, I always feel really bad when I'm doing a video and it's me navigating a maze. <laughs> Just literally keep following the same wall. <laughs> Here we have the sand ladders. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.